Okay, let's press on. This is the Undead Parish. The, whoops, proper second area of the game. I just started up, so I'm a little rusty. Give him a little whack. There we are. <laughs> a little bit of a problem there. I'm probably gonna eat a hit. Oh, just dodged. Cool. Whoops, didn't mean to unbreak your lock on. Or I guess that's just breaking. Whatever. So generous, those backstabs. No one's coming up on my butt. That up. Hey, a longsword. Wasn't expecting to pick that up. It's probably heavier than what I have, but it's longer. Why do you use standard straight sword, only matched in ubiquity by the short sword? An accessible sword which inflicts consistent regular damage and high slash damage, making it applicable to a variety of situations. My... Hey, I'm still fast. Cool. Thank you very much, Hollow Soldier. So we got a, a bit of a boar situation going on. There aren't a whole lot of these dudes in the game, and they're actually, I believe, all unique. They all stay dead once you kill them. So, I just drag you out. Yeah, they kind of pocket these dudes. Oh, it's a spear guy, too. Got to be wary to not walk too far in this courtyard. If I can kite him over into this hallway, that'd be great. These guys are such bastards. They are, like, programmed to be as annoying as possible. Like, he knows that I want to fight him in here and not over there. But he's just like, no. There we go. Alright, boar. Come at me. Right into its butt. That doesn't do as much damage as I remember it doing. See if I can get around to it again? Yeah, right back in the butt. Just stay on its butt. And... Oh, no, not that time. Ah, it freaking, like, horse kicked me. What a bastard. So yeah, as you can imagine, because of this armor, like, s s taking smacks in his face doesn't really do much. But I got him. I'm still getting shot. These guys are jerks. There's another way to kill him that maybe I should have done, because it would have been, like, a little bit more interesting. But that was the safest way. That was the way I knew how to do it. Of course, I shoved another spear dude in here. Son of a bitch. Just back up. Use a little bit of this. Actually, if that spear guy follows me over here, that'd be great. Alright, spearman. Gotcha. Okay. Now we can take care of these bros with their crossbows. This gate that was to my left was open, but... A guy triggers and goes and closes it to be a jerk. I, it might be possible to get to it before he does that, but whatever. I mean, ultimately you have to go around the long way. I want to do that anyway. There's the guy. Pretty sure he closed it when I entered this area. Oh, you're still alive. Where did you come from? Were you down here and did you follow me up there? I think that's what happened. There we are. Let's get rid of that. Ah, uh, it's crap, I'm sure. Let's look at, uh, where is it? Okay, I got two of these now. Waistcloth worn by hollow soldiers. It's so tattered that it barely serves its purpose anymore. So these dudes have been hollow for a while. Alright, so we took care of everything upstairs. So this is our way forward. So here's a problem with uh, playing Dark Souls when you're kind of experience and you've played other from software games when you see what we just saw right there with that guy running away and especially when there's a blood stain right here someone got got this is like the oldest trick in the book look at this stupid freaking ambush they set up oh i still got hit i got hit by the guy not around the corner but that was further in the room oh we traded there we go got them both Use this. Now let's go find that guy that climbed up. Is there anything in these corners? No. Oh, there he is. Oh, 
freaking guy behind me. Someone's ringing the bell. Someone beat the boss. Yes, our first bell of awakening is here in the undead parish. We'll be getting to it before too long. Oh, there's another guy over there. Got another broken straight uh, straight sword. Cool. Just gotta. There we go. <laughs> What is this? Is this the... Yeah, it is. It's the mystery key. It could be anything. The purpose of this key is unknown. It appears to be a basic prison cell key. wonder what makes it, like, mysterious. Because, like, you pick up a lot of keys, right? In any Souls game. Like, we've already gotten a good handful. And it's like, well, how do you know what the purpose is of one key versus another one you pick up? I'm eating a lot of hits. That's my last heal miracle. So we're going to be relying on Estus. Man, the Gravelord Covenant is just popping off in Remaster. Apparently it works now. And to be perfectly honest, I'm trying to make it, you know, look and sound like I know what I'm talking about in this LP. I'm still not sure how that covenant works because it used to just not work or it only worked in New Game Plus or something. I don't entirely know. I saw some video of uh, it in full action of like people actually grave lording. I'm still like, what the hell? How does this thing work? I guess, uh, I mean, if something different happens in the game, I'll have a better idea or if I get to join it myself. Maybe there is a point early on in the game's life, both on console and PC, where it worked better than it ultimately did years later. That's possible. And maybe that's just why I don't really understand it perfectly. That and descriptions of it are always, like, not as well written as I'd like. Okay, so this is a new enemy type. This guy's a Balder Knight. He's carrying a buckler on his left hand. I believe the standard rape gear in his right. The buckler's a cool little parrying shield. It's tiny and it's lightweight. It's not great for defense, so it's really just for parrying. He eats a lot of hits. Oh, he's got Estus too, what a bastard. Back where I started before that drink. Oh, 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 okay, I thought he was going to do it. They have a special stance where, uh, you'll know it when you see it. But basically, um, they have this stance that's just like, Purely for parrying. If you hit them during that stance, you're going to have a bad time. The Night Shield. Let's read this thing. This medium metal shield is elegantly carved and painted. Although it is thought to have been used by ancient knights of the nobility, its defense capabilities are similar to other shields. This thing has 100% physical damage reduction. And I believe, unless you pick a starting class that already has one, this might be the first one that you straight up find in the game. Now, I bought the heater shield at the merchant because I knew about it. But this is, I think, the first one you can find just on the floor. At least on the main route without, like, using the master key or exploring too much. So, a lot of new players pick this thing up. Really, to be honest, while the 100% damage reduction is decent, um, it's kind of too heavy and it's not as good as the heater shield. It's not as good as a lot of other shields. I also found the hollow soldier shield, the one that this guy is carrying. Which is kind of similar in some regards, in the sense it's like, yeah, you're getting 100% reduction, but it's also super freaking heavy, and it's probably not worth it. I mean, versus, you know, saving up a thousand souls and buying the heater shield. I should probably take care of this dude. We saw this guy from uh, where I was just standing. And that's why I wanted to take care of him, because of this guy. Oh, I might be dead. I had less time to do this than I thought I did. Okay, this is a bit better. I'd rather take care of the hollow first. Let me just back up over into here. As crazy as it looks, I can kind of defend myself in this hallway. So this Balder Knight is different. He's carrying different equipment. For one, he has the big Balder shield. But he also has a different sword. He has the Balder side sword, which is... Something I would like to perhaps own in the near future. The Balder side sword that that guy was carrying, if I would have gotten super lucky, he would have dropped it. Is like arguably the best dex weapon in the game. 
I mean, I don't think it technically does the most amount of damage, but I think it's the most standard and safe, and overall, I would call it the best one. It's my favorite one. There's a decent chance that it's going to be what I beat the game with, though I would like to show off other weapons, too. But the thing is, it's super hard to actually get because the odds of it dropping is very low. It's also, uh, I believe it's only in this game, too. It never reappears in Dark Souls 2 or 3. Mainly because there aren't Balder Knights in Dark Souls 2 and 3. But also because it's kind of busted and, like, honestly too good to be a long sword. Like, compared to even what I'm holding right now, it's way better. It has, uh, well, not only does it scale with uh, dexterity just very, very well, and it does tons of damage, but it also, um, it has, like, a crazy good moveset, and it has a really long reach. It's really big for a standard longsword. Alright, so the end of the area is actually over there, but, because I know it's over here, we're definitely going to go over here first. Because I would be remiss if I didn't. That's a friendly sound that we're hearing right now. So right here is a bonfire. We'll worry about that in a moment. Because I'm not in any danger. Not when we got good friends like this guy. Well, you must be a new arrival. I'm Andre of Astora. If you require smithing, then speak to me. Did your mouth always move, Andre? Perhaps it did. I mean, I haven't acknowledged it yet, but From Software just refuses to make NPCs' mouths move. Usually they never do, but I guess maybe he has always did. Because Andre's cool. So Andre's your... I would say he's the most basic blacksmith in the game. He does your regular upgrades and stuff, and he can... Well, eventually you give him the items that let you do, like the standard plus 10 and plus 15 weapons. It's more a gesture. Hurrah! That's a good one. He sells stuff, and in fact, the reason I have not leveled up in a while, and I have almost 6,000 souls on me, is because I wanted to buy the things that he has. I wanted to buy first, uh, the weaponsmith box. This is a tool used to etch titanite into weapons for reinforcement. Rest it upon fire to make weapon reinforcement possible. This circumvents having to find blacksmiths to upgrade your weapons. You can now do it yourself. Or at least the basic upgrades, I think. I'm kind of a little sketchy on the details because it's been a while. And the armor smith box, tool used to etch titanite into armor for reinforcement. Rest it up on fire to make armor reinforcement possible. So you can upgrade armor in this game as well as in 2, I believe, but they did away with it in 3. And uh, honestly, those two boxes should be one item, but they kind of gouge you and make you buy it twice. Whatever. He also sells this, which I'll be worrying about later. He sells the basic upgrade material, the Titanite Shard, which I still have not found. I have not found a single shard yet. That will change in the near future. Those Balder Knights actually have a decent chance of dropping Titanite. He's got some uh, some weapons here. He's got my long sword, the broad, bastard sword, battle axe, war pick, the ooh, the cestus. He sells that. That's your punching weapon. The pike. Oh, I completely forgot about the pike. Large weather shield, tower kite knight, caduceus kite knight, and that's it. And he's got arrows and bolts. Cool. So tight knight is very uh, purchasable in this game. So if you ever need to just get something up real quick, you can typically buy tight knight if you don't have it. So I'm not going to modify any of my equipment because, quite honestly, there's nothing on me that I really want to upgrade. Nor do I need to repair, so let's just leave. Don't get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Bye, Andre. Alright. Let's, uh, let's take a little rest at this bonfire. There's another path out of this room right over there. We'll worry about that later as well. So let's spend what I have to level up. Pump up dexterity to 13. I'm pretty close to another level, but that's okay. I could pop a soul item to get there, but I'm going to be spending a little bit of time in this area. Now I did sit, so the guys I just killed that were over here did respawn, as did the Balder Knights. So I'm going to have to take care of these guys first. You got a crossbow, so you got to go. Uh, I'm still not doing a whole lot of damage. 
Ah, oh, you drinking bastard. I wonder if these guys can potentially drop Titanite. I'm not sure. No, nope, just more waste cloth. What's up? Gotcha. Now, directly in here is going to be a tough enemy. You're right about... There he is. He sees me. Come fight me over here, man. It's a lot safer outside. I'm going to screw up these guys' aims. Is it... Berniki, Berniki, perhaps Bernice Knights. We'll read more about them. This guy's also unique. He is a one-time enemy. I cannot backstab him. If this were DS3, I'd be able to for sure. But Dark Souls 1 backstabbing enemies this big usually isn't possible. He's kind of like fighting a Black Knight. He's slow and lumbering. Just manage your stamina. Take your hits when you can get them. Like, that's not too hard to avoid. If this were Dark Souls 2, that big overhead swing would track like a motherfucker. But you can see it kind of gives out halfway. I can get four swings when he does that. That time it was a swipe instead. There we go. And he's done. What did you drop? Oh, he dropped a Titanite shard. Cool, we can finally read this thing. Titanite shard for weapon reinforcement. Most common Titanite material. Reinforces standard weapons to plus five. Titanite shards are fragments of the legendary slaps. Titanite is etched into weapons to reinforce. So I have the chunk. Uh, Titanite chunk for weapon reinforcement not found outside of Lordran. Reinforces standard weapons to plus 14 and crystal lightning weapons to plus 4. With the discovery of the chunks in Lordran, the race to locate the legendary slabs has begun. But could they be mere myth? And the twinkling titanite, which I've picked up a couple times. This weapon reinforcing titanite is imbued with a particularly powerful energy. Reinforces weapons that cannot be reinforced normally to plus 5. After this Titanite was peeled from its slab, it is said that it re received a special power, but its specific nature is not clear. So what's missing here is the second upgrade material, which is the large Titanite shard. So you go regular, large, chunk, and then slab, which is mentioned. I think I just got an Estus. That's the first time that's happened. Uh, Twinkly Titanite is for special things like, uh, I'm pretty sure that the... Uh, that the Black Knight sword here that I picked up off that first Black Knight probably upgrades with Twinkling Titanite. There are a couple of other materials that we haven't seen yet. More than a couple, actually. There are several in this game. So I really need to pick this thing up. Because that's another Firekeeper soul. I, I assume these don't have different item descriptions. They do not. They're the same every time. That would have been cool if they were unique every time. But that's all right. That bastard up there is a problem. And I don't know if I want to deal with him just yet. Mm, yeah, let's do this now. He's already starting his bullshit. Oh, we got another Balder Knight. This one's carrying the Rapier and the Buckler. There are two types. There's Rapier and Buckler. Oh, uh, that's the stance. Don't swing at that stance. There's Rapier, Buckler, and... Uh, Balder Shield and Side Sword guys. And the Side Sword guys are the only ones that can drop the Side Sword. They did account for that. So they have the two different drops. They will drop their specific equipment that they're holding. But I believe they all have a chance to also drop their armor. That's another problem with trying to get the Balder Side Sword is that the Balder Knights themselves have so many different types of drops. I think literally everything they have on them can be dropped. The entire armor set. The shield, the sword that they're using, be it buckler or rapier, or buckler, rapier, or uh, shield and side sword, as well as probably titanite. So that's uh, what, four, seven different drops each. So yeah, that's why it's kind of hard to get. Look at this bastard. He loves it. Uh, those guys are referred to as channelers. I think that's actually their canon name and. Wondering why these hollows are glowing blue. That's what he just did. He buffed all of them. 
I could die. <laughs> I could literally just die against these hollows. And the channeler is also unique. He will just disappear forever if I get rid of him. But first, I gotta take care of this problem. So this is actually a big trap. Like, uh, there are two ways to enter this building. There's a front entrance that we didn't go through. We went through the rear entrance. And typically what happens is you run into the channeler and he's either shooting stuff at you or whatever. And you're like, God, I want to go kill this asshole. And you get up here and what ends up happening is he probably pops that buff like he just did. And you enter that room and they're like, look at how many hollows I've killed. Like there are 12 of them in that room or something. And individually, they're not a big of a problem. But when you bunch them up together, they suck. Like they're still coming. So yeah, you just get ganged on and... It's it's a classic gank. They love it. Easy way to die. Why do you think there are blood stains here? But now it's just you and me, man. I might not be able to backstab him. Honestly, he's not a huge threat by himself. Not that I can't take him seriously. Ah, he got me. I jinxed it super hard. Ah, he's like one hit away too. What a bastard. Oh, that should have hit too. There's the dance. I don't know who he's buffing in that moment. Actually, it might be applying to some enemies that are still alive downstairs. So what's really annoying about the channelers is, like, while it's nice that they permanently die when you get them, um, they actually have a chance to drop that uh, trident that they're holding. And you can do that stupid buff and dance. So people use it as like a dumb troll emote in either, you know, PvP or just to co-op with people and like look like a goofy idiot while buffing your, uh, like your, um, co-op members. But of course there's a finite number of them in the game, so getting it takes a little bit of luck. Unless you're, you know, doing like save fuckery. Knock it off. Stop it. Ooh, I deserve that. You done? Yeah. Let's see, it should be something over here. Soul item. I want to go where he was guarding, though. Here. Boom. Oh, still human, are you? Then I am in luck. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. Thank you. Yes, sincerely. I am Knight Lautrec of Karim. I truly appreciate this, and I guarantee a reward, only later. Yes, very sorry. Your reward will have to wait. I have just been freed. Allow me some time. I am free. Now, I can get back to work. <laughs> Oh, that's the worst it's ever been. I love Law Trek. Oh, man, that one's so good. I'm free to get back to work. <laughs> I mean, uh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm sure that won't come back to haunt me. They love this trope in Souls games. They love, like, the NPC that's a little shady, but you can help them out. Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite you in the ass. <laughs> oh, it's the best. So Law Trek will reward me later. It'll help me out if I need it. I'm sure he won't do anything bad. Alright, so there's some Balder Knights over there. Um, that way leads to that gate that that guy closed back where the boar is. But before I go over there, let's uh, hit this elevator. This innocuous elevator. 
Which is taking me somewhere. Somewhere very cool. And by very cool, I mean the coolest place. We're back at Firelink. Yeah, all right. Firelink Shrine. There's Petrus. What's up, haircut? Oh, hello. I will teach you miracles. I thought he'd have something new to say to me. Yeah, that, that's all well and good. Come again. Actually, let's talk to him. Maybe he does have something new. Maybe I have oh, to hit the talk miracle. option. Very well. I can show undead kindling is no, that's the same thing that I paid for that one time. Let me go check over here. What about you, man? You got anything new? How did that silly sorcerer's apprentice end up? You know, the one always prattling on about Master Logan. He left for the undead burg, but never came back. Serves him right. If even old Big Hat can't make it out there, what chance does he have? I hope he enjoys his new life as a hollow. Hmm? What now? I'm not up for... Is that it? Hmm? Yeah, okay. Oh, he did tell us something new, that there used to be a sorcerer's apprentice. Here, look at Law Trek. He beat me over here somehow. <laughs> I love it. Ah, hello there. I have your reward. Please, accept it. Sunlight Metal. I am grateful to you for freeing me. <laughs> <laughs> not enough for you. Well, let's not be greedy now. <laughs> oh, that's the best. <laughs> By the Lord. Your face. Your humanity is really slipping, but there are methods. Most fools have more humanity than they know what to do with. Now, who do you imagine will make the best use of it? Mm -hmm. hmm. You again. What is it? Our futures are murky. Let's not be too friendly now. Oh. Hey, bye, low trick. Got another Firekeeper soul, so I can get a plus two Estus. Oh, that's the best. That's so good. All oh, right, the thing he gave me, the uh, the sunlight medal. This faintly warm medal engraved with the symbol of the sun is the ultimate honor awarded to those who summon the warrior of sunlight and complete a goal. This symbol represents Lord Gwyn's firstborn, who lost his deity status was expunged from the annals but the old god of war still watches closely over his warriors i completely forgot that that second paragraph was in this item description so i wasn't expecting to get such a big like piece of text but uh the sunlight metals design is actually also what's on the front of uh solaire's stupid chess piece which he painted on himself by the way that's not like an official piece of merch that's something he made himself because he's a doofus Ooh, so this is the uh, the covenant item for that particular covenant, the S Warriors of Sunlight, which uh, which Solaire is a part of, and that's why he said that uh, should you see his summon sign, it'll glow radiantly like the sun or whatever. That's because uh, when you summon in Sun Bros and uh, you beat a boss with them, or if you go to their world and help them out, you're typically rewarded with one of these things, and then you can turn them in and level up your rank with that covenant. We'll get to all that later. Um, the second paragraph, though, the symbol represents Lord Gwyn's firstborn, who lost his deity status and was expunged from the annals. The old god of war still watches over his warriors. We're gonna get to all that. Like I know that um, I left a very brief, like, tail-off description of like the lore and the world building. There's so much, so much time for that later. We're gonna get there, and we will hear more about. Um, Lord Gwyn and his family and his kids, like, it's gonna happen. So right now, I'm gonna head back to, uh, the parish. And since we're about to wrap up here, I know that this is now a really good time for me to go grinding, finally. Not so much for soul levels, but more for, uh, souls to get 
namely buy some things because I know I'm going to get a lot of souls, but mainly because I want the sword. I want the Balder Swag the Balder Side Sword, aka the Balder Swag Sword, as named by e Epic Name Bro. So I'm going to try to get that thing. I'll probably have to kill tons of Balder Knights before I even get it, unless I'm really lucky. So any extra souls I pick up will end up going towards buying some additional things, like that really expensive item that Andre has, and uh, maybe some of these like miracles that I haven't bought yet, as well as uh, some sorceries that I'm missing. So I'll go pick those things up, and uh, maybe uh, I'll probably be able to upgrade it too. If I don't find enough shards um, just killing Balder Knights and stuff, I'll buy some from Andre as well. So I, I'm about to get a lot stronger when we start up next time. See you guys then.